Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Serpent Resurrection talk through. Last part, we finished exploring the city of Lestern, finding all the artifacts and gold we can find, and now we're ready to go right on board the Thunder Child. Okay, he's here. Let's cast off and get moving. Also, uh, don't uh, try to load any saved games. Uh, open up the uh, menu or uh, lower the console uh, during this part. It would ruin the synchronization of the music of this uh, area. Also, don't light a torch. It causes uh, huge amounts of lag, which uh, also throw out the uh, synchronization of cutscenes with the music. Okay, we're clear of the harbor. Full speed ahead. Aye, aye, Captain. Greetings, Braxis. My name is Valdrin. I'm Captain of the Thunder Child and one of the King's Mages. I will be talking to you telepathically like this throughout the voyage. So that the crew don't overhear anything about the quest. Feel free to roam about the ship as you please. Thank you. Also, sounds like this quest uh, is very confidential. I don't believe we're sailing to Caldera again so soon. I mean, didn't we just leave there minus one adventurer? Indeed, but King's orders. We have to take another one there. Let's hope he triumphs then. Maybe he'll even find Bainden too. That's better. <laughs> now that we're away, let me tell you a bit about the quest. The Serpent Riders were a powerful trio who at one time caused chaos in distant lands. The weakest was Desperal, a dark mage who it is believed the Shadowcaster emulated. The middle one was Korax, a six-armed beast who could temporarily alter his surroundings. The strongest was Eidolon, a big red demonic creature with awesome powers. They were all defeated long ago, but it is believed that a resurrection was attempted by a rogue mage known as Pravis, who was defeated by unknown heroes. And recently we have detected powerful magical surges, which emanated from Kaldura in the Hydretor Kingdom. We recognized the patterns, and the mages there confirmed it. They had been resurrected! Our fears were confirmed when we lost contact with the mages there. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I mean, didn't we kick the Serpent Rider's asses, uh, before? In Heretic, Hexen, and Hexen 2! And of course, uh, someone successfully revived them, or resurrected them. Bravis failed to do so because he got his ass handed to him by a paladin, a crusader, a necromancer, an assassin, and a demoness. And the demoness didn't like the resurrection thing either. On the port side, you can now see the ruined tower of Jilatsa. It was once the isolated home of my magic school, but now a mere monument. However, I did my best to save it by helping to bury the heart of Jalatza during a great battle. I'm still proud of that day when I helped preserve my way of magic. And one day, I shall return to unearth the heart and rekindle it. Now, before anyone gets the funny idea, the heart's probably uh, similar to the Heart of Despairal from Hexen, as in, uh, it's some sort of gem thing, rather than, yeah, you know. Oh, apparently some guys have ran the gauntlet, and, uh, oh, and he made it, too. <laughs> oh, really? You're gonna make them pay for the drinks when you get back from the voyage? Really, now? Fog approaching, Captain! Quite thick by the looks of it, too! Steady as she goes, but be extra careful! Wow. Lots of fog. 
This fog wasn't here last time. Something must have changed. And we must be cautious. Hidden dangers lurk within the mists. Just a fortnight ago, we took Vainden out there to defeat the Serpent Riders. But after a week and a half, nothing happened, so we had to return without him. Now the King sends a new hero to attempt the same and to find Vainden. You know, uh, Fog and uh, other forms of media usually indicates uh, people are gonna die, the boat's gonna become destroyed, or worse stuff. This better not be the case in Serpent Resurrection, otherwise our journey is for naught. I don't like being mired in this unnatural fog. I feel like something's watching, waiting to pounce. Aw, uh, stop worrying, it's just your imagination. Yeah, just your imagination. Just your imagination. Fog Wyvern off the starboard howl! Man the cannon, shoot it down! You are not seeing things, sir. There is actually something there. Alright! Pow! Second shot! Pow! Shot number three! Number four, go for broke! And I got him! Haha, -ha, you didn't stand a chance, Fog Wyvern! Guess what? You are dead! 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 You are dead! 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 Thought you were hot! Guess what? You're not! You are dead! 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 I brought your whole tyranny to a screeching halt! You are dead! 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 Okay, I'll stop now. He killed it! We're saved! Hip hip hooray! He's a hero already, and we haven't even got there yet! To celebrate, bell ringing time! By the way, killing the Fog Wyvern gives you lots of experience points. Given the uh, point that we're at in this uh, wad right now. Don't forget, we're still in this fog, though. Yeah. I feel cold. Some dark magic is nearby. Oh? Dark magic? I think we'll see the reason soon. Land ahoy! We're too close! No, we're fine. Steady as she goes! And that's why. On the port side, you can just make out the ruined temple of Zetesk. A sinister place, that is, once home to the dark arts that threatened my way of magic. Now it's a shark magnet, but there are older, deadlier beings lurking in the surrounding waters. Ugh, must have been a, a very evil place. But then again, I've been through worse. Let's see, a psychotic robot with creepy voice? Uh, a very gruesome scene in a certain Quake sequel. Can I... And the crew are starting to get a bit insane. Being inside this fog can really do bad things to people. Or maybe they're not insane, but I don't know for sure. 
It could be starting to clear. Oh, fog starting to clear? Looks like we're coming out of it, Captain! Oh, and he would be right. Fog is now gone. It's the outlying islands. We're almost there, Captain! Steady on a course. Keep up speed, but don't get too close. Not far now. In the meantime, I'll tell you a bit about the land here. Hydretor is an archipelago, made up of many small islands and several larger ones. We are at the easternmost tip. Most of the larger islands are further afield. Chuxin, Zoahex, Stonegate, Centrummer, Dreadnought, and Shannara are among those islands. Along with Wolfen, Rock, and Knockabout, which got its name because a battle was fought there. By far the largest island is Caldera, which is also the seat of power in this island kingdom. King Necrix III rules from his palace on the western shore, but nothing has been heard for a while. Wow, talk about a lot of uh, Hex and Wad shoutouts there, Maldrin. I wonder if anyone lives on these islands. Probably just hermits, or keen fishermen perhaps. I heard there's some real delicacies to be caught in these waters. Maybe worth a look sometime. I've always liked seafood. Yeah, lots of shoutouts to other Hexenwads. Lots of shoutouts, I tell ya. On the starboard side, we're about to pass the Great Tower of Dordover. It is a great focal point for magic, and for watching Caldera's eastern shore. I will retreat to here once you are safely ashore and disappear inland. Once the quest is complete, I will be able to tell and will return to pick you up. The Serpent Riders are strong, but the Calduran Mages told me of one weakness. In order for them to survive, their hearts were fused with their souls under intense heat. The source of this heat can be found in only one place on the island. Each Serpent Rider's heart must be taken from its corpse and cast together into the Chasm of Fire deep within the Dothy Volcano. Only there can their hearts and souls be destroyed by the same heat and residual magic. So, this prevents them from uh, coming back to life after they've been killed this time. Ah, good. Then we won't have any more problems involving the certain pint riders now, if, if I manage to do what you say. Wow. And there it is, the island of Caldera. We have to land at the eastern shore, as it's too dangerous to sail round to the other side. It's one huge island. Slow down and prepare to dock! Sadly, we have no supplies that can aid you. Hopefully, Bainden left plenty behind on the island. If not, then as far as I know, the shops are protected from enemies. Drop anchor and prepare to disembark! Good luck, Braxis. The fate of our kingdom rests with you. And with that, the uh, game's automatically saved, but we're going to make a manual save because we're at the end of this part. Next time on Serpent Resurrection, we start off our quest in the Eastern Shore. See you all then, everyone. See you all then.